So I'm going to turn this ordinary room into a fully automated smart home cinema. I have been sent these gadgets from Akara, and I'm going to use them with a few other bits of tech to transform this home cinema into a smart home cinema. So with all these gadgets, I should be able to automate a bunch of stuff so that when I want to watch a movie in this room, I can do so as hassle-free as possible. Okay, so what do I have? Well, I've been sent five smart gadgets, a wireless mini switch, a motion sensor with a built-in light sensor, a door slash window opening sensor, a smart blind driver, and a hub that connects them all together. Plus, I already have a bunch of smart gadgets that I can pair with these to sort of make the most out of them. I've got Amazon Echo devices, smart lights, uh, fire TV stick, but at the moment it's like having all these jigsaw pieces with no picture. I need to use all of these gadgets to make a really cool cinema room, but I don't have the picture in my mind just yet. I need to plan it. So essentially there are two types of smart home gadgets. There are sensors and there are controllers. Something like this mini switch is a sensor. It takes something to trigger it and then that then can send an action to something else. So then you can have something like this smart blind motor, which is a controller. And when you press the sensor, it opens the blind. Now this won't sense anything or react to anything, but you can set it up so that it responds when someone presses this. So essentially what I have to do is plan out all of the things I want to happen in my smart home cinema and then plan all of the triggers that's going to cause those things to happen. So the triggers I have are a switch, a door sensor, a motion sensor that has a light sensor built in, any voice assistants that I have like Alexa, and even just my phone. And other triggers can just be simple things like the time, the weather, getting a text message. Then the next issue is things like protocols. Some devices work over Wi-Fi, some use Zigbee. I've got others that are sort of in their own app ecosystem and don't play well with others. So this is going to be hard. But what we can do with all of this stuff is try and work with as simple an interface as possible to be able to put it all in one place. And we do have a few options. Firstly, there's HomeKit. Now HomeKit is great because it has a lot of ways of automating things with HomeKit gadgets and things like Siri shortcuts. And all of our Akara gadgets work with HomeKit, so that is great. Now HomeKit is also super quick. Look how quickly the app updates when I open this door sensor. Now, Akara working with HomeKit and Alexa and Google is great. So HomeKit isn't necessarily great because most smart gadgets don't work with HomeKit. So if we use HomeKit, I can't connect my lights and I can't connect the TV. And in fact, most of the stuff I've got in my house isn't HomeKit compatible. So we're going to have to look at something else. So instead, we could use Alexa or Google. Now, I already have a bunch of Amazon devices around my house, like a Fire TV stick or the Echo devices. So I probably think that Alexa is going to be the way to go for me. And the Amazon ecosystem also has a bunch of other gadgets things like ring doorbells and stuff like that so Alexa is probably gonna be my assistant of choice today so essentially the first thing I need to happen is that when I press this switch it turns the cinema on so the blinds close the TV turns on and the lights go down so let's start with the blind so essentially how this works is that our smart home will decide when to open and close the blinds and then this motor will spin and pull a beaded chain through it. That obviously then in turn opens the blind. You can do it with the buttons here, but it's designed to do it in a smart way. You can do it on a time scale or you could set it up with a button. Now this is also wireless, so it can go anywhere. And it's got a USB-C port on the bottom, so you can charge it up when it runs out of battery. Then once you charge it, you just slip it back onto its base plate. Simple. So in theory what happens is, is that we turn the cinema on, the blinds shut, the TV powers on, the lights come off, and an ambient light behind the TV will turn on. But not only that, I want to set up with HomeKit so it switches my phone to Do Not Disturb while I'm watching a movie. But that's not going to be enough for my home cinema. So there's nothing more annoying when you're sat down watching TV and someone barges in, opens the door, and then the light comes in and shines in the room and ruins the cinema vibe. So I want to stop that light ruining the cinema. So I'm going to create a routine that if someone opens up the door, and lets the light in, the light in the hallway actually switches off so I don't have to worry about it. And lastly, my wife keeps telling me that I need to start being a responsible parent. So I want it that if I'm up watching an 18 rated movie and one of the kids wakes up and they come out of their room, that they're not going to hear it. So I'm going to put a motion sensor up on the landing that if someone comes out of their bedroom at night, it's going to pause the TV and then turn the light on so I know the kids are up. So let's set this all up.
Okay, so, so I've ran into an issue. I essentially wanted this mini switch to do two things. Firstly, it's going to connect to HomeKit and set up the Do Not Disturb on my phone. And then I want it to connect to Alexa to be able to do things like the blinds and the lights and all that stuff. But I can't get Amazon to recognize it as a switch. So I can do the HomeKit stuff and set up Do Not Disturb. And I can put the blind via HomeKit as well because that's a Cara. But it's not going to do all the stuff I want for a home cinema through Alexa. This isn't gonna work. Now whilst the main part of my home cinema was falling apart, I moved on to the other parts. So the first problem with the light coming in and ruining the cinema. So I've set it up now that if I open this door, the light in the hallway is gonna turn off, which is gonna stop the light coming in and ruining the vibes. Then when I shut the door, the light can be on outside, so the people who've shut the door can now see where they need to go. The problem I have is, is that it doesn't matter whether I'm watching a film or not, now the light's gonna turn off every single time we open this door or leave it open. So what I need to do is set it up so that that only happens if I'm watching a movie. Okay, and this last one didn't have too many issues. So with the sensor, I've set it up just up here. So if the kids now come out of their bedroom and walk onto the landing, it's gonna pick them up and it's very easy to set it up on a fire stick so that when something gets triggered, it then gets the Fire TV to pause. But the issue is still the same. I only want that happening when the cinema is on. So I don't want it if someone's upstairs during the day, it's just gonna randomly keep pausing the TV. So I need to fix that too. So it's all kind of working. I've got to fix some issues, but we're almost there. <sighs> okay. So after playing around with the Alexa app for a little bit, I think I might have come up with a little solution. Now I can enable and disable these little routines I'm making. So using the Alexa app, I can make it that when I turn on the home cinema, that will then enable these routines. And when I turn off the home cinema, that disables these routines. So I can make it now that when I turn on the cinema, it enables the routine that sorts out the light in the hallway. And it then also does the motion sensors upstairs with the kids. And then if I turn the cinema off, it will then disable those routines. So let me break down exactly how this works. Essentially, I have two routines for the cinema mode. One routine, cinema on, closes the blind, turns off the light, turns off the TV and the ambient light. The second does the opposite, TV off, lights on, etc. Now the cinema on routine also switches the other two routines with the door and motion sense. And the cinema off routine now disables them. So we're almost there, but there is one other issue, the mini switch. I still didn't have a way of turning the cinema on or off. So the whole thing was useless until I could get this switch working. So I can use an Echo Dot and just use my voice, but that sort of ruins the magic. I want to use the mini switch. So the Echo Dot works, but I failed. I'd failed to use all of the gear. As much as this switch was really useful, it just wasn't connecting properly to the Amazon ecosystem. But then I did it. So I'm sort of just sat moping because I wanted it so that when I pressed this, the cinema would turn on. And if this, then that. If this, then that. And then it hit me. If this and that is a third party smart home tool and it connects different smart home ecosystems together. Now, Akara is compatible with if this and that and so is Alexa, kind of. So I can set up if this and that to recognize when I'm pressing the button. But if this and that only works with Alexa for triggers, not actions. So I can set up my Echo Dot to recognize me asking something but I couldn't set it up to make the Echo Dot do something. So I had to use a third party skill on Alexa to turn the if this then that routine into a doorbell. Yeah, I know, it's getting a bit mental. So the mini switch now connects to if this then that. That then links to that third party Alexa skill, which then rings this doorbell. Then the doorbell ringing then triggers the Alexa routine to turn the cinema on. It's ridiculous, but it works. So essentially I've got a switch that triggers a routine, that triggers a skill, that triggers a routine, that triggers two more routines. Simple. And I can duplicate that same idea so when I double tap the switch, it does the same thing, but the opposite. Fun. Okay, so it all should be working now. Okay, so it is the evening. We should be ready to test this. Okay, so TV is off. Light is on. The lines are open. It's uh, time to see how this will go. Got my switch in my hand. All we need to do is press the button and everything should start going.
Lights off. Lights on. Blinds are shutting. TV's coming on. It's happening. Kids, get to popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space Viking. The trailers are playing. What's that? Someone must be on the landing. And I also have it working so that when I leave the room and open the door, the light switches off and then I can go outside without bothering anyone, shut the door behind me and I can now see. I also then went in and added in this lamp from Govi, so I can sort of add my own cinematic effects when people are coming into the cinema, and then it switches off when the movie starts. And then when the film's finished, the light will come back on, and we can clear up our popcorn and drinks and everything, and move on with our lives. So guys, that is my smart home cinema. I want to thank Akara for sponsoring the video and for sending me the products. I couldn't have done it without them. If you want to see more from me, click this video here, and I'll see you in the next one. Whoop!